Hello all. I'm going to show you the difference between the old quick cross section plate versus the new quick cross section microscope slide. So this is the old plate. This is uh, the ones I used to sell. I stopped selling them a number of years ago and uh, I was never a real happy with them but people wanted them so I made them and sold them and uh, they did a fairly good job but they had uh, some of them had a bit of misalignment where the uh, tip went into the groove this one doesn't feel that bad but one side is better than the other and uh, you can actually even flex them you know you can see some movement I don't know how well you can see it but there is movement you can see uh, there's, you could feel a flex I have to put pretty much pressure on it but the it is a fact that most of the time if you flipped it around you'd get a better alignment one way than the other now the new slides, I redesigned them so they are more the shape of a regular glass slide. So any microscope that's set up to use a glass slide on, a typical 1x3 glass slide, that's uh, very easy to mount these on. They're a little thicker because of the, uh, the guides. But you can see with this one, it has uh, two stems sticking out, and they actually insert to uh, insert into cavities inside here, and it gives you a very flush end and no amount of pressure. You can't put any kind of pressure on there; it's going to flex or bend that. So you get a very flush. Uh, cross section, a very flush uh, surface for your razor blade and um, that's why the redesign. Okay before I end the video I'm going to take a uh, cut on a sample with uh, the new quick cross section microscope slide. I'm going to use this here. Now you could just uh, loop it a few times as such and uh, stick it in that way. And also a lot of people like to loop it. this do it this way I'm going to put that together and put a fair amount of pressure on it now for demonstration purposes, uh, when I use this razor blade, I'm going to take it and I'm going to mark one half of it on both sides just to get a point across. That you can only use the razor blade for one sample. You get two cuts with one razor blade. One half of the razor blade will take one cut, the other half of the razor blade will take the other cut and then discard it or put it back in the uh, disposable box. Uh, do not try to get more than one sample per razor blade. You're just going to get aggravated because your cuts are not going to come out right. You need a fresh razor blade each time. 
So the razor blade should be set on approximately about 15 degree angle. That's what angle, that very short angle is at the cutting edge. Not this big one, very short one at the very edge. And uh, let me set it down. We'll go ahead and take a cut. As we flip the part, we will flip the razor blade. Take the second cut. And there you go. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching.